back with another Plinko Board Budget Challenge. Today we're doing $1 versus $1,000 barber shop. Someone's gonna get a really bad haircut today. Off the beer! You have to be creative. You know me, I'm always good at that. Oh. To the store! We just pulled up to Bed Bath & Beyond and this is looking really good for Isaac and myself. Everything is on sale because the store is closing. I'm trying to make my barbershop like full vibes. Look at this cool little fireplace I found. Even with the sales here, I do not know if I can afford anything. I just feel very bad for whoever has to get their hair cut in my barbershop. So they have this trimmer here. It's a five in one, so you got five different attachments. Not only can you like line the hair, but you can trim the upper hair as well. And it's on sale, so I might have to get this. Trim the upper hair, eh? You ever, uh, ever done that before? I found a mirror for my barbershop. It plays music. And by the way, once we're done completing our barbershops and giving our customers a haircut, we're going to have an actual barber come and judge to determine who did the best job with their given budget. Most barbershops have fun decor on the wall and they're nicely decorated, so I gotta figure out what kind of, I guess, theme do I want my shop to be? I don't know if this store even has like barbershop specific things, but I'm gonna look around. So I got some paint because I'm going to design my barbershop to look like an actual barbershop. I found this pretty comfortable. It feels like a felt, squishy roller chair. I think this might be perfect for a little barbershop. All right guys, you know it's a sad day when you gotta go to the Dollar Tree for your budget challenge. I got a bunch of cool stuff. I don't know what he's looking. No, for. I need. I don't have that much more than you. My haircut itself is gonna be lacking. I need to make up for it in the comfort spa, entertainment, snack facility. I'm also finding some helpful things. This will be a very clutch item, and then a mirror, of course. What's that? Oh, whoever. I don't know, but it's luxurious looking. Oh, you haven't bought anything else? No. Oh, no. I really haven't gotten anything. This is the only place I can afford stuff at. We're back at the warehouse now, and we each have three identical blank rooms. These rooms are gonna be where we're building the barber shops. Welcome to my barber shop. I am uh, currently about to paint the walls with the crew. Wow. They were the cheapest paint. I'm laying 50 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks? Yeah. Then we're not getting paid? Uh, what's that loud sound, by the way? I don't know. I think it's like, I think the ants are migrating right, right, right now. Ants? It's really raining outside as well. Well, this is all that I have to fill this whole room, but I did have a great idea. Blake is going to work for me for two cents an hour. Two cents an hour. Two cents an hour. You agreed to this? Blake will do anything. <laughs> I work eight hours, that's 16 cents. You're, well, Yeah, exactly. I have a very special job for Blake to do. One that I, I didn't really want to do. What? <laughs> the barber shops are now open, so it's time to introduce Isaac's $10 barber shop. Take it away. All right, guys, come on in. So I only had $10, and so I don't have a lot of decoration. It's pretty bare, but I got all the essentials. So all I need is a customer. Oh! <laughs> Get in here, man. But I saw all the Yelp reviews, and I knew I had to come by. Sit, stop right there. Okay. You saw us on Yelp? Yeah, oh, he's on Yelp, check him out. Isaac Quazo's Creamy Cuts. That's what we called it. I'm officially done building my barber shop. I have a surprise. I'm not the one going to be giving the haircut, so just wait. All right, Samuel is gonna be getting a haircut in my barber shop. Now, let me, let me introduce you to the barber. We're here with Mitch. What's up, everybody? And we're ready for an amazing haircut. You know, I've had the same haircut for like the last four years, so whatever you wanna do, like. Oh yeah, you're in need. We'll get you right, bro. We'll get okay. you right, without okay. a doubt. So oh wow, right. that is Comfort so level 100. Comfy. And I've also got the waiting area for the people who are waiting for the haircut next. I can sit here, we've got the TV playing the best videos of all time. Yeah! All guests at the barbershop. Looks awful. <laughs> Samuel, would you like blue or red? Blue. That's positively blue. All right, Justin had the medium budget. Let's see what you built. Come on inside. Welcome to Justin's Cuts. 
as you can see, our motto is, it's not what you thought. And you actually leave having a better haircut than you anticipated. Oh, that's what makes so that's this how thing. that motto works. Exactly. We have a whole ordeal here. Yeah, I can tell. Well, I'm excited to see what you do, Ash Ketchum. Thank you. Just wait for my first customer, I guess. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Justin's Cuts. Here, why don't you wait over here, oh, sir? Okay. Um, yeah, uh, can I get you a complimentary beverage? Yeah. Here you are while you wait. It's not what I thought. Yeah. Gotta get prepared before the customer sits down. Mm, refreshing. Sir, could I offer you some freeze-dried strawberries? Uh, yeah, please. Heard a lot of good things about Justin's Cuts. <laughs> uh, why don't you come on, come on over here and take a seat? So, uh, what brought you in today? What what kind of haircut you looking for, big guy? Something that makes me look wonderful. <laughs> Nothing specific, just kind of want to leave it into my hands, or do you have something yeah, in mind? Yeah, I mean, I've heard so many good things. I've heard, you know, to come in here with low expectations. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> You're a giggly fella. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Nothing to be nervous about here. We've been doing this for years. If I could ask you to take your shoes and socks off. Oh, what, this is like very zen. Yeah. It's already a little bit better than I expected. You can put on your comfy slippers. Did someone else wear these? Are these used or are these just brand new? No, brand new. Oh, okay. Yo, at least there's a proper like... Bib, Oh yeah. if you will. We're not getting any hair anywhere. Dude, what about my legs, man? Your Please legs don't. are gonna have something entirely different happen to them later. Whoa, okay. <laughs> what are those things actually called? These? Yeah, capes. Capes, ah oh, man, look at how cool my cape is, guys. Who's at any point that you want a hot towel, let me know. Oh, will do. Could I have a hot towel? I feel so relaxed. There you go. This ah, helps, that's this so helps nice. Air, like lay flat for the cut to begin. So, and I believe it. Wow, that's incredible. I don't think Samuel's ever had a low skin fade, so I'm excited for this. Uh, oh, definitely don't want to forget this. We like to have our customers uh, just sign something. So, do you want? What? If you what just, is this? Just oh, read it. Read it and. Uh, by signing this agreement, the client waives all rights to complain or hold Barbara Justin responsible for any loss of hair, life, or limb. It yeah. serves as a legally binding contract in which the client agrees to only see Barbara Justin for all future haircuts or risk losing his firstborn. It's a pretty standard Barbara contract as far as I am aware. It's looking really good over there, Samuel. <laughs> Gotta get the hair a little wet. Yeah, like have a spray bottle? No, those are expensive. What are you doing? Check it out guys, got my little pouch. I said I couldn't afford any furniture to put anything on. I managed to get a little fanny pack of sorts that I could just keep all my sweet gear in. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. I'm pretty limited on tools, so I was able to find a big razor and a pair of scissors. And so these are gonna be my only tools I can actually use for the haircut. So we'll see how it goes. Sure. Sure. How long has it been since your last haircut? It's been like two months. Okay, so my man's due. Hey, Isaac cut you. I'm gonna get started with the um, scissors now. You're the first aid kit in there, possibly. <laughs> How confident are you about this haircut, Isaac? Really confident. I wouldn't be doing it if I wasn't confident. How are you feeling, Samuel? I'm feeling great, especially looking at the other two. They are so nervous. Yeah, you've got um, a pretty good view of the other ones. Yeah, I'm just so relaxed right now. Let me know when you want that little foot soak. And we'll get your feet feeling right. Oh yeah, perfect. This is making me want to get a haircut now. Ah, uh, here's a one. One. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, let's just do a one. I, I want you to do whatever you want. I mean, I've never had a customer ask me that, to be honest, so this is a little interesting. But I mean, all the five-star reviews said don't ask any questions. All right, we're gonna start around the bowl here. Wow, these are really large. I'm gonna actually downgrade. Oh, let's see. Oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. We're gonna have you looking spiffy in no time. Well, who cuts your hair typically? I used to go to Isaac's, but they were busy. Razor burn all over my head. Are you pleased with the Isaac service or? I mean, it did lose a lot of blood typically, but as far as I remember, I had a good time. Wait, what do you say? Um, my main goal is not to give him a fantastic haircut. Perfect. <laughs> More so just to kind of line up and clean up what he already has. You ever seen a lineup quite like this? I got him pretty good. Dude. <laughs> Were you scared? Yes, I was scared. I thought I messed it up. My heart exploded. I thought I just cut his ear off. Are you off. okay, Isaac? <laughs> I know I didn't react much, but my heart inside fully exploded. At first I thought he was joking, and then when I saw the ketchup, this is only the beginning. The haircut is yeah. only half of the treatment that we offer here at Isaac's Creamy Cuts. Just hold still. Oh. Ow! That did not hurt. <laughs> 
Oh, I'm dude. sorry I'm gaslighting you so much, Drew. I'm what telling you it doesn't hurt, but it probably does. Ow! If these scissors aren't cutting fully clean immediately. <laughs> Your hair is pretty <laughs> thick. So we're gonna try just taking a little chunks out of here, because we want to have a nice fade going for you. Make it look nice. No need for concerns. Half inch. Man, this this uh, not good. Man, I wish I would have brought my usual blades in today. Sorry about that. But hey, this is this is gonna do its thing. I think PTSD are trying to cut Blake's hair. How's it look? Wow, the sprinkles. <laughs> Probably the worst thing I've ever done to someone. Jeez, <laughs> where are the sprinkles? <laughs> this is how you do a, 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 a scissor fade. Why does he have a bald spot on the other side of his head? I'm gonna fix that, don't worry. Shh. Ow, no, that didn't. <laughs> Why do I keep saying that? I'm so sorry, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he rips all my hair out and he's like, Shut up, that didn't hurt. It isn't that bad if the razor was just razor. I definitely need to take some off this. It's looking a little mushroom toppy. What did I say? <laughs> I said I, was, I look exactly like Toad from Mario when this is over. Did I tell you I'm giving you a mullet? No, that sounds smart. Yeah, it's the, the new thing nowadays, seeing kids all over the place wearing those. I'm trying to blend in with all the kids, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally get that. I've been actually getting a lot of customers saying that. <laughs> Golly. I wish this would cut. I don't know what it's doing. It's making sounds. <laughs> that hurt? Yeah. Well, it shouldn't. Okay, well, <laughs> my bad. Has anyone ever said you have a sensitive head? Maybe if I go slower, that'll alleviate some of the pain. Okay, I think it's time to prep the foot relaxer. So, this is pretty hot water. So what you do is you pour it in. We can ice to desired temp. That's the best way to do it. Right here we have the mineral bath soap. This is for soothing tired muscles. If you guys know, Samuel's out working all day long building cool things and his feet get pretty tired. So. <coughs> <coughs> What's in this thing? Oh, the menthol. That's powerful. I've never had to stand up for a haircut before. You don't have to stand up. You, well, I've never, had, I've never had my butt fall asleep in a chair because you're usually pretty comfy. Don't mess with Did the you guy wipe who's this got on a razor me? above your ear, pal. Well, I was standing perfectly still and you still cut me, so. The overall experience of this barbershop is gonna be to die for. It already looks like a crime scene. <laughs> you wanna sit down again, pal? No, I actually feel a little bit more comfortable standing up. There's just gonna have to be some hair in some spots. Like, you know, holy crap! What? No, no, what? That looks horrible! No, 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 no. here, give me that. Oh mirror. my god! <laughs> I look like some soccer player. <laughs> No, no, look sit, at that. sit back down. What no, is that? Don't look. Don't look at it. We're not having the mirror till it's over. My whole, my whole hair plan was is falling apart just because of how bad these little razors are. Yeah, that's the reason why it's falling apart. <laughs> look at this guy. He looks. He's dressed like a painter. He looks like he's here to paint my house. Can I get one quick buzz with that buzzer? Oh, this one buzzer ain't that good. Probably better than this. Yeah, but what about my current customer? He has an important meeting after this, and I'm sure he's in a rush. He's gotta, go, he's gotta go sell a car and he can't show up looking like he does. He should have come to Justin's cuts. I'm so sorry, he definitely should have come here. I tend to avoid barbershops with creamy in their title. <laughs> so what's the advantage of using a straight razor? Get as close as possible. Man. This is called trust. Oh yeah, and no bigger sign of trust, man. Mm -hmm. Ready for a little soak? I'm ready. Why is the water green? It's menthol <laughs> and other things. I can feel the salt in the bottom. It feels like sand. <laughs> There's so much of it in there. I used the whole bottle. I didn't want to like hold back. We're oh. almost there. How's it look? Come on, Jeff. You can do better than that. I'm not done, young man. <laughs> I really wish I had my own standalone shop. I hate having to have neighbors. Because did you know that when your hair is wet, it actually gets longer? <laughs> I did not know that. That's incredible. <laughs> Dude, it's not. Are you kidding me? Did you see that line? Yeah, that's fine. Look at that line. Just gotta take a little bit off the top. That's how I see the pros do it. Isn't that right, Mitch? Oh man, he's doing, he's doing the mustache. I don't know what I look like. Yeah, well you started complaining, so you lost mirror privileges. <laughs> well, it looks horrible. I just look like a Visa character. That's literally a, such a good compliment. We're almost done, and voila! I think it is time that we begin phase two of our complimentary treatment. Ooh, it smells good. Oh yeah. You look like you're ready to go play for Man United. I'll call your name Blake Drake. What? I don't know why I keep calling Blake Drake. And we're done. 
but not fully done. We need to give you shampoo. I want to give you a luxury experience. Ha, totally, crap. What's going on out there? Yaga! Let that cool down for a minute. Have you ever been to a barbershop that puts the nice hot steam towel on your face? They do this at barbershops. <coughs> Trust me, you'll love it. <coughs> <coughs> Here at JSTU, we put our lives on the line for content. Wow. All right, time for phase three. <laughs> How's that? That's nice. Yeah, that's really I can't believe I've been missing out on this for so many years. Let's just let that sit and moisturize your face. All right. <laughs> Yo. Oh my gosh, I completely forgot to give you this. Now this is a sweet styling technique that I actually haven't told the customer about yet. <laughs> is that blue? Is it what? <laughs> look up. <laughs> what? You gotta look up. I'm gonna have to go bald after this. Whoops. <laughs> what? Yeah, why is it smoking like that? <laughs> you know, if you mix certain chemicals together, reactions. What? I don't know. What chemicals you put in my hair? It's getting really hot. Are you being serious? Yeah. What? He said if you mix different chemicals, you get a reaction. What kind of chemicals? <laughs> well, I don't know. Dollar store hairspray and dollar store blue It literally color. has a, a fire on that, on the can. There's literally a little fire on it. Yeah, it's flammable. Okay, now, tilt your head down. I'm so glad I have this. It really takes the edge <laughs> off. Get that hair all shampooed. I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> and we're going to stylize it after. Now, have you ever heard of Axe Cream? <laughs> well, all the mullet kids are wearing it. Hmm. <laughs> One actual final element. Now, do you see why this, hmm. why a lot of people tend to come to my barber shop? Yeah. Normal people probably use a normal brush, but they haven't heard of this new advancement in brush therapy. All right, young man, there you have it. Barber Justin. Yeah, you're welcome. Feel free to come back anytime. We'll oh. be here as we have been for years. <laughs> yeah, yeah, can you get a spin around that? Oh yeah, check this out. Oh! <laughs> Samuel is just about done with his cut, I think. How are we looking? I would imagine oh. it's significantly better than either Drew or Reese's haircut. Just based on the little bit that I've been able to see through the window. Oh man, yeah, definitely Reese's. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming to Easy Steez. That's the name of the barbershop. I just came up with it. Wow, I like the name. It's Easy to remember. Just don't forget your shoes. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey Mitch, what's your running rate? $30 Okay, hey. Actually, hey. Wait, that's what I'm paying for this. You don't need, an, <laughs> you, you don't need another haircut after this. All right, we're just gonna give us some texture here and then we're gonna begin In phase three, which is the ultra inclusive spa treatment. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Right. That's enough of that. Look at this. I'm sure you guys have seen it the whole time, but what is this? All right. It looks like I tripped into my weed eater or something. You ready for? Oh my gosh! Ultra relaxation. What is that? Lean, just lean back. Is that supposed to go? Oh, it's cold. Uh. Oh, that's good. Uh. All right, lean oh, back. Oh, my mouth. Just, just, just tilt, <laughs> tilt your head back. <laughs> Got a nice cooling gel mask for you. Okay, now we are going to introduce. Here, we'll do that for you. Oh, thank God. Now. We're gonna introduce you our new state-of-the-art pudding treatment. My assistant, relax like that. Just lean back. You don't need to. You don't need to look or anything. Oh yeah. Ugh. Our complimentary shot of pudding. Ugh. Just open up. It's good for you. This is just pudding. <laughs> Eat it. Ugh. Oh God! What was that? Oh. What is that? Oh. And then also a complimentary <laughs> massage. Ow. Oh, what yeah. tool? Make sure you use the tool. No, no. Oh. Make sure you get between the toes. I'm on your toes, Ben. <laughs> Don't bend too far. You look, you look real rested. I Good. feel great. Are you okay? What happened, man? Oh man, I just looked at that. Don't look at that. Don't worry about that. Oh god. <laughs> like every good barbershop, got you a little piece of candy on the way out. Hope you can feel good. Thanks. Another satisfied customer at Isaac's Creamy Cuts. Right, we're here with Emma. She is our judge and a professional hairstylist. So, Hello. let's start with my barbershop. Come on in, see what Hi. you think. First off, ambiance. Loving the light. It's feeling really good in here. I got a fantastic haircut. I was relaxed the entire time. I even got this awesome like foot bath. Top okay. tier, all the way around. Very cool. This guy even hooked me up. He had a straight razor as he was cutting my hair. It was very, nice. very impressive. Very clean, very yeah. fresh. I'm liking what I see. Great. Okay, Emma, welcome to mine. I had $50. And uh, Reese here got the haircut, so yeah. Reese, why don't you just tell her how you felt? Oh, I mean, it's a great atmosphere. Mm. Got some good snacks. How was the cut itself? I mean, it was mostly relaxing. 
<laughs> Mostly is good. Mostly. Yeah. Mostly is great. I love the decoration. Did you paint it yourself? Yeah, I had, I had a little help, but it really? was my idea to do this design mm. with the lines and everything, so. Classic barber. So did you shampoo his hair? Yeah, nice shampoo. Very nice, no hair splinters for you. You're not forgetting one of the best parts though, right? Oh yeah, a steam towel. So we got it very spa-like at Justin's Cuts. What do we have going on here, Isaac? Welcome to Isaac's Creamy Cuts. Obviously first we gave, uh, I don't know if you know this guy, um, but he's yeah. a real stud. And uh, we gave him a nice sweet fade. Um, after that, we gave him a, what did I do after that? After that, we gave him the beautiful spa treatment, our state of the art pudding wash on the mm. feet. Did a little face mask, did a little gel on the eyes. He was feeling relaxed as heck, right? I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> How was your experience? It was awful, it stuffed them. <laughs> I mean, it was wonderful. I, I loved every little bit of it. So five star Google review. Yes. Dude, well five done. stars? Well I probably done. Pick five it, star, man. Yeah. Okay, Emma, after all is said and done, who had the best overall barbershop experience? It may come as a shock to you that I would have to go with him. No! Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Like.